you know, in the concert at the Vortex, celebrating Phil and his music. It was a no-brainer. It was amazing to be able to get all those people together for one day. I mean, if you try and organise a band, it's almost impossible with a quartet to get people together on the same day. Mm -hmm. But I think people put things aside and people, people blocked it off and said, yes, no, I am going to do this. We got together and rehearsed at the premises and most people kind of knew each other. We had some time allotted at uh, premises, which was great, you know. And I, I was sort of going from one room, oh, we need percussion on this tune. We're all mixed up together in different workshops, as it were, uh, and all trying to solve the problem of let's get these tunes together in a certain amount of time. It's all those people, those fabulous people that i hardly seen for years, you know. That in itself made everyone very happy. Some old faces that I hadn't seen for a, a, a good while. I, you know, John and, you know, Roy, you know, Roy. You know. People like Pete Lima, you know, that, you know, 30, 40 years ago, I'd be playing with quite a lot and, and you just don't see them and, and people don't see each other and Jack Monk. The whole of Inca Hoots was there. Patrice came from France. I hadn't heard any of these players before, you know, and um, it was nice to be in a way accepted into that situation, you know, uh, as a, I suppose, as a relative outsider. You had this collection of people, um, including some absolute uh, international names. Well, I'd never uh, met a lot of the guys. Yeah, I, really, that was Bobby Phil. I was really like when I met, I met John Greaves because Elton had a lot of stories with him and all that, you know. But I didn't, you know, I'd never seen John before or met him, you know. So I had to say, I have a word, you know. And all of that kind of into sort of into relationships to try and make the thing work, you know, over three days. It was a really sort of quite a spirited thing, I thought. There was no kind of ego running the thing because it was for Phil, you know, and everyone loved Phil and he wasn't there because, you know. That's what it was, it was a celebration of Phil and his music. So immediately the atmosphere was great. Everyone was like, oh, you know, catching up and hadn't seen each other. And then the music is, you know, it's really good music and it's quite challenging to play. So there was that kind of element to it. It was exciting to play and challenging to play and, you know, and being quality music, it was good to play. It was so amazing that all of these people gave up all that time with the, without the prospect of making a load of money or something. They did it for the love of Phil, and it was just, I thought it was so touching. When I heard the big band arrangements, that was wonderful. I just wish he'd heard what had been made of his music, because it was really beautiful. I mean, Alex and Pete did some incredible work. Alex, oh, I didn't know, Alex McGuire I didn't know very well, but it was fantastic, you know, he was brilliant. It was so nice to hear all that music back to back, you know, from the early 70s all right the way through mm -hmm. to, to the 21st century yeah. and pretty much chronological I think. There was a strong sense of celebration of film but also fun because you know these people like playing this music and it's not mainstream music and you know everyone had been involved with playing this music with Phil at all sorts of different times and places so there was this wonderful atmosphere and, and the audience was there to celebrate it. It was nice for everyone, you know, that, just to see that energy that was like cooperative like that to make it, to make something work. The spirit of it was fantastic. What I remember is quite a few guitarists leaning around the door going, oh yeah, <laughs> about being the first to start that one. Very challenging to do and, and uh, very enjoyable, you know, so it was a great concert, very memorable. I think Phil would have been overjoyed to hear it. The music could have been like a lot tighter and, you know, things were missed and things went wrong, and, but that didn't really matter. It was like the whole thing about being in the spirit for, for Phil and I think the way that all came together, I think that was absolutely brilliant. It was the vortex, it was small, it was, everyone was rammed in, which immediately makes this kind of, you know, exciting, you know, can't quite get into the club atmosphere. I've never done anything quite like it. We were changing lineups. It, it was interesting. Sometimes you, 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 as a composer, you can write things and then the musicians play it and it sounds better than you ever even heard it yourself. 
and I think I have I sort of feel like that was going on in the room on that gig you know it sounded m much more it sounded more beautiful and more poignant actually all the more poignant for the fact that Phil wasn't there to hear it what a beautiful night I mean all the people that were there it was, it was something to sort of it was uh, joyous I mean as far as it could be it was a joyous celebration, which is what it should be. I mean, Alex made a, a fantastic job of <laughs> sing-alongs. Oh, for goodness <laughs> sake, it was, uh, it was something else. The coming together of everyone from all this Phil Miller world to play Phil's music in celebration of Phil and the music. Phil's music, and for me, it really cements kind of a life's work. It was just a remarkable thing. I don't know whether it could ever happen again. And hopefully in the future we can maybe even take it on the road somewhere else and do it for people who didn't get to hear it this time. People flocked to see it. That, that says a lot. The fact that it all did happen uh, was, uh, was terrific. In any sense it's great that it's been dug out and done and it's there for people to hear. It was a real pleasure to be involved with it, you know good feeling afterwards. The concert itself was exciting. I, I really would love to hear some of the stuff we, we've uh, we achieved on that day. Well, you had to be there. <laughs>